Now, and of course wearing safety goggles, just <laughs> always be safe if we can, especially using hammers and punches. Using a roll pin punch, I'm gonna drive these roll pins out of the adjusting rod. And if everything goes well, you know, there's a couple different ways we can go at this. Now we've got the adjusting rod free and uh, definitely don't try moving an adjusting rod like this. Honestly, if looking at how bad the threads are, we're probably gonna install a new adjusting rod and lucky for us, Steiner uh, makes a new adjusting rod available. I'm trying to salvage one like this would be iffy at best. The bad thing about an end like this is you can't clean the threads up because this is welded to the end and this is left-handed threads and I don't know about you, but I don't know too many guys that have left-handed dies. So we've got that off. The next step is to try to locate the roll pins that are down right there. Can you see that? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. We've got to knock those two roll pins out. And those are always the ones that are the most fun, to be honest. So we're going to tackle that when we come back. So knocking the larger roll pins out that actually retain the float ride um, torsion springs. I started out with a hammer this size and a straight pin punch and uh, this hammer just wasn't doing the job so had to go to old standby. Now this is a man's hammer. I'd like to point that out. Uh, definitely not for the faint of heart but uh, one thing about it is great for guys that sometimes slip off and might otherwise break a good hickory hammer handle. So with a little more gusto here we're going to try to knock the other pin out. All right, 